been getting into virtual beats lately. I mean, I've always kind of been into them. I didn't really know like if it was a style that I could produce, but I don't really know a whole lot about hip hop because I'm coming from the EDM scene. I know a lot more EDM artists and producers than I do hip hop artists and producers. And I think that's why I like virtual beats so much is because it has more of an EDM feel to it, but it still has the hip hop drums and whatnot. Anyways, let's make some virtual beats. I might use this. Maybe we'll pitch it up or down a little bit. Let's try taking it down five semitones.
wonder if I could make another roll here and make it like crescendo into the next measure. So a little something like this. And then was sounding as I was arranging the beat and a trick that I like to do sometimes is I like to just experiment and see what I can do to mess the lead up as much as possible. One really good trick is to just reverse the lead and see how it sounds and I ended up doing that but I also ended up adding on a gross beat and a few other things to get it to sound the way it does. This is how it sounds right now. some trouble handling this project right now but you can see here I was using the the DMT flute I have it muted and everything now because I consolidated it I added an EQ cut out some lows and highs added a fruity chorus I think I just put on the uh, fat clean preset I added drip that's probably what's causing my CPU overload I added a little lo-fi just went to the lo-fi preset I think I turned it down a tiny bit I added some portal onto it these chordal clouds is what I added and also this trap synthifier from Kruth. This is a patcher preset that he made. And I think I just turned the tail up on this a little bit. So it creates a little bit more of a reverb tail. And then after that, I ended up adding gross beat. I don't still have that because I consolidated it. I think I deleted that track. But I just added a gross beat. It was one of the preset banks um, that comes with FL Studio. All those effects combined ended up giving us this sound. which I think sounds a lot cooler than that basic flute pattern that we had earlier. So other than that, I think that this beat is pretty much finished. I do have a little basic arrangement down. I like how this came out. I definitely think I want to experiment more with some virtual beats. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys li listen to virtual beats. Let me know if you create virtual beats. If there's any plugins that you like to use for making virtual beats, I would love to hear about it. I definitely want to experiment more with this style and with this genre and yeah, overall it was a good time. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching this cook up. Thank you so much. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the corner. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.